Commonwealth's a dangerous place. Lucky you're near the Great Green Jewel. What do you mean you can't open the gate? Stop playing around, Danny. I'm standing out in the open here for crying out loud. I got orders not to let you in, Miss Piper. I'm sorry. I'm just doing my job. Ooh, just doing your job. Protecting Diamond City means keeping me out, is that it? <laughs> oh, look, it's the scary reporter. Boom. I'm sorry, but Mayor McDonough's really steamed, Piper. Saying that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in a tizzy. <sighs> you open this gate right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just lock me out. <sighs> You. You want into Diamond City, right? What? Who are you? Shh. Play along. What? What's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy? You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month? <laughs> you hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to Crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? Jeez, all right. I need to make it I personal, Piper. Give me a minute. Better head inside quick before old Danny catches on to the bluff. <sighs> <laughs> okay. Sounds good. Let's go. Another great day in Diamond City. Piper, who let you back inside? I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious, rabble-rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that Ooh, printer scrapped that a for parts. Mr. McDonough? Tyrant mayor shuts down the press. Why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. Always believed in freedom of the press. Rightly so. A true medium for the people. Oh, I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, miss. No, no, no. You look like Diamond City material. Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money, settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? What are you two arguing about, anyway? What do you think? Print lies and everybody's happy, but if you print the truth... <laughs> <coughs> now, was there anything particular you came to our city for? I'm trying to find someone. Trying to find someone? Who? My baby boy, Sean. He's less than a year old. Wait, your son's missing? You hear that, McDonough? Is Diamond City Security just gonna stand by while a mother searches for her infant son all on her own? No, don't listen to her. Well, I'm afraid that our security team can't follow every case that comes through. I'm confident that you can find help here. Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help you. A mayor of a great city must know everyone. Who can help me? Well, uh, uh, there is uh, one private citizen, Nick Valentine, a detective of sorts who specializes in tracking people down, usually for debts or whatnot. No, I have to get going. I'm sorry Diamond City Security doesn't have time to help, but I'm sure Mr. Valentine charges a reasonable fee. This is ridiculous. Diamond City Security can't spare one officer to help? I want the truth, McDonough. What's the real reason security never investigates any case? I've had enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. <laughs> I'm impressed. Not everyone can claw information out of McDonough's tight-fisted hands. Hmm. Why don't you stop by my office after you see Valentine? I think I just found my next story.
You're Sullivan, right? So, you're that traitor Piper was talking about. Some tells me she's pulled the wool over my eyes again. Am I right? I didn't mean to lie, officer. It all just happened so fast. Uh, you're not the first one Piper pulled into a heap of trouble they weren't ready for. Thanks for being honest. If it were up to me, we would have just let the both of you in. But the mayor's calling the shots, and... Well, you saw how mad he is. Anyway, welcome to Diamond City and all that. I gotta get back to work. Stalker man. <clears throat> hey. Hey. What's up? What's up? <laughs> what a day, huh? Welcome to the uh, Great Green Jewel. You'll totally love it here. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Don't you have like important things to do? Nothing more to say. Nothing more to say. Peace, lady. I like guns too, but you think you might be overcompensating there? So, this is the famous Diamond City. I suppose I hope to find more of a gem than a dusty home base. Civilization in the rough, if you will. Kiddo, how are the paper sales? Well, the presses are getting overloaded. That motor is going to go soon if we don't replace it. Nah, you've been saying that for weeks and the old girl still keeps cranking. Stop worrying so much. I gotta head into the office. And you start whistling if you see any angry politicians coming our way. Why? Is Anyone wrong? is one of those Piper. things. It's that secretary of his. Her and her perfect hair. Mm-hmm. The mayor's secretary. Come on, Ma. I cut her hair myself, and I know human hair. That's just it, Johnny. You oh, wouldn't man. be able to you tell got a robot the difference. Button? If you nicked McDonough with your razor, he'd bleed. Don't, Don't let down nothing. the home team. Mm -hmm. Buy a swatter. Don't walk outside the wall undefended. High quality protection for sale. So thirsty. Doctor says I can't drink liquor no more. Cola. Need a new Coca Cola. Sims free shopping. Hey, Sheffield. Need a drink. New Coca Cola. Here you go. That's so gracious of you, Mum. I'm sure it's not every day someone shows him such kindness. <gasps> ah, thank you. Thank you. Jolly well done. He's working for... Hey, Sheffield. What do you think about coming to work for me? Really? You... You mean it? That's right. Okay, I'll... I'll do it. Sometimes you gotta wonder. Does anyone fight back? Institute has to have enemies, right? What? You mean the railroad? Well, that's a fairy tale, man. They don't exist. Nah, I heard from my cousin. He knows a guy that works for him. They got a code phrase and everything. Follow the Freedom Trail. The hell is that supposed don't to mean? Don't be caught dead! <laughs> You're full of it, <laughs> and that kind of talk is gonna get you snatched up by the sins. And we stand a swatter. The hub of trade for all Diamond City What's right with here? you vault dwellers in those jumpsuits, huh? <laughs> As could every household. Newcomer, huh? Talk to Abbott at the wall if you want a history lesson. You read the paper? No Damn sense. sense allowed here. Hiding among us.
told you your luck wouldn't last forever. His ties. Oh, Nick. Something wrong? The bills. Huh. Forget the bills. Another stray coming in from the rain. Afraid you're too late. Office is closed. I know you must be busy, but I won't take much of your time, miss. It's important. You're right. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude, but it's just... The detective... He's gone missing. Do you have any idea how I could find him? He disappeared working a case. Skinny Malone's gang had kidnapped a young woman, and he tracked them down to their hideout in Park Street Station. There's an old vault down there they use as a base. I told Nick he was walking into a trap, but... He just smiled and walked out the door like he always does. Who's this Skinny Malone character? I don't know much about him, but he's from Good Neighbor, and that means he's in the well-pressed suits and machine gun school of thuggery. You said Malone's from Good Neighbor? Yeah, it's a tough neighborhood. Northeast a ways. People with power there care about two things, style and body count. I'll find him. You have my word. Thank you. Nick should be easy to spot. He's always wearing that old hat and trench coat getup. Please, hurry. I'm not a synth. Don't move, synth. What have you done with the real Riley? Where's my brother? I swear, I'm not a synth. Don't shoot, for God's sakes, we're family! Put the gun down, now! He's a synth! He'll kill us all! Yeah. A real Kyle, person? no! Damn. Okay, show's over. There are no synths in Diamond City, hear me? Just you folks and your damn paranoia. Officer? I need you to step away, Scaver. I understand, officer. I just want to know what happened. What, you didn't hear the shouting? Guy pulls a gun on his own brother, thinking he's a synth. It's that newspaper's fault. Got people all riled up, thinking their own family might be replaced by machines. Look, I'm sorry you got caught up in all this, but it's over, okay? Just go about your business like nothing happened. Better that way. Hey. What's everyone still standing around for? You go back to your own damn business. My own brother. What happened? I'm I'm not a synth. I I told them. I I kept telling them. Why didn't he listen to me? I, uh... I need a minute. Hey, who wants to look beautiful? Wow. Hairstyles across the Commonwealth. Move along. Glad you dropped by. You holding up, Blue? My favorite ballpark's become a shanty town. Today's been great. Hmm, interesting. You mentioning that, seeing as you're from a vault. Jumpsuit's a bit of a giveaway. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. You do that, and uh, I'll tell you what. I'll come with you. Watch your back while you get used to the world above ground. All right, Piper. I'm in. Good. Let's get down to business. So, I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time on the inside? My family and I were frozen. 
I didn't spend much time in the vault. W wait, <laughs> they boxed you up in a fridge? The whole time? Are you saying you were alive before the war? Yes. I'm over 200 years old. Oh my god. The woman out of time. So, you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to your old life? Honestly, seeing everyone surviving out here, rebuilding the world, it gives me hope. That's surprisingly inspired, Blue. We're definitely quoting that. Now I already know you're looking for your son, Sean. Do you suspect the Institute was involved in his kidnapping? I don't know. No one ever does. That's what makes them so scary. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? Wait, people just ignore kidnappings out here? <laughs> yeah, Blue, you haven't noticed? You grow up in the Commonwealth and eventually someone is gonna get taken. <laughs> Maybe not someone you know, but someone. And people just say, well, could have been worse. Could have been killed by raider attacks or super mutants or feral ghouls. <laughs> they just give up. So I want my readers to hear what keeps you going. Maybe they'll find a little inspiration. Now, what would you like to say? No matter how much you want to give up, don't. You have to have hope that you'll see them again. Or at least that you'll know the truth. A strong note to end on, Blue. Thanks. That's everything. It's going to take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is going to give Diamond City plenty to talk about. Anyway, I agreed to come with you, right? Watch your back. Just say the word when you're ready. I can't wait to see where the story goes next. I can't believe you eat that food. Only one thing worth buying in a dugout in, and that's the bulls. Man's gotta eat. What can I say? A real Diamond City boy eats at the noodle stand. Vadim? Vadim, I need to talk. Just a minute, Yeti. I am in middle of story. So then, I am crossing river, right? Wearing nothing but a smile. When out comes the most dangerous of all sea monsters. A Meyer lurk! A Meyer lurk? Come on. That's like two out of ten points of danger tops. Now, if you want to talk something really deadly. Vadim! <sighs> you there. I forgot you were there, Yefim. What is it? You know what? Never mind. Hi. I'll handle it myself. You'll find I'm very persistent. Do I know you? No. But I've heard of you. I'm always looking for people who know how to handle themselves in dangerous situations. I don't mind danger, so long as I get paid well enough. You will be well paid. I can promise you that. By the way, I'm Edward Deegan. You'll mostly be working for me, but you'll need to talk to my boss first. His name is Jack Cabot. He likes to personally interview everyone I hire. He's careful like that. Come down to Cabot House in Beacon Hill and ask to talk to Jack. I'll let him know you're coming. See this bar? I killed a man for it. <laughs> no, no, I kid, I kid. <laughs> he is dead, though. <laughs> now, let me know when you're ready to order. So, 
This your bar? Damn straight it is. My brother Yefim and I make the best moonshine in the entire Commonwealth. We call it Bobrov's Best. Had to start renting out rooms just so customers had a place to safely pass out after drinking it. <laughs> I'll take a look, sure. Good, good. What if they're listening to us right now? What if they've been listening this whole time? Hey, hey, quiet, all right? Yikes. Jeez, lady. I like guns, too. But you think you might be overcompensating there? Officer. I hear there's a bar in the old theater district that's for raiders only. The combat zone. I'd stay clear if I was you. Yeah, it's true. I got shot in the ass last year. Long story. Hey, officer. You hear about that settlement? Covenant? Nice. Real clean. Strict entrance requirements, though. You're not the talking type, are you? What? You got a staring problem? Officer. Word is something bad went down in the old museum of witchcraft up near Salem. Why would anyone even go there? Been abandoned forever. No funny business. Hey, officer. Oh my god. Damn. So beautiful. That thing's not a stray, is it? Well, look. What can I do for you, sweetheart? Officer. Nice dog. Hope you didn't run into any trouble getting here. That bridge across the river. Super mutants use it as an ambush point. I would totally beat that ass. Hey, officer. Nice. Yes. I mean, nice day, huh? Ah, you know what I mean. You know what you're looking for? We have everything! Everyone else may be closed, but Diamond City Surplus is open 24 hours a day. Let's see what you've got. Dad says not to talk to strangers. <laughs> 